Hi, it's Rich here. I'm going to quickly show you how to use Hypothesis to annotate an uh, HTML file or a web page or a PDF file. Uh, so here we have a web page and I can tell that I've got Hypothesis installed because there's this little icon here and on the side. If you haven't installed Hypothesis yet or created an account, you need to do that first. But I've got my account set up, so I'm going to scroll down this document and I'm going to highlight this text here. And when I do that, because I have Hypothesis installed, I can just highlight the text. So I'm going to highlight that. I won't annotate it, just highlight it. Then down here, I'm going to find another piece of text and I'm going to annotate this one. This is very important because... And then I can post only to me so that I, it's just for my own uh, use, or I can select the EDCI336 group. Because this is a group discussion we're going to have about this uh, document, I'm going to post it to the group so everyone in the class who's uh, got a Hypothesis account can see it. And go down here, and I'm just going to do the same thing with another one here. I'm going to annotate one more annotation. Again, I'm going to post it to the group so everyone in the group can see it. Uh, to minimize hypothesis so I can see the whole web page, I click on this little triangle and then I can scroll up and down and look at the, if I click on this, it'll show me the, the, uh, the annotation. Same thing here. I click on that, it shows the annotation. If I click on this, it was just a highlight. And you know what, For actually for this, I don't really need to highlight something for the whole group to see. So I'm going to delete this. And the way I do that is by, now that I've selected it, I click the little delete button, and then I confirm that I want it to delete it. So if someone comes in and they want to respond to one of my annotations, let's say this first one here, it highlights it there. All I need to do is hit this reply button here, and then I am replying here, and then they'd respond to the, uh, the original annotation, and then I'll click post to the group. So now we'll go down here, click on it, it shows me that annotation. When I come back to this one, it shows me the annotation plus the reply. So that way we can have a bit of a threaded discussion about the uh, different things that are interesting in this web page and as well we can do it in a PDF document. And we can minimize that there. So that's how you annotate a web page using Hypothesis. And we'll see you in class later.